Hello friend, are you looking for the best VR headsets? Please note this item's VR headsets have upgrade. If you received a new VR headsets then you are in the right place in this video. You are going to review top 5 best VR headsets in 2022 on the market. All this are C VR headsets open selected best one personal lakelian. The you reading reviews and odors. Okay so get less started to this video. Number 5. Freely Dear 3D Virtual Reality VR Headset. The headset has been criticized for requiring people to log in with a Facebook account, but with everything considered, what company wouldn't expect the same? Quality of life features such as Air Link have allowed for games to be streamed from a PC over Wi Fi. Quest 2 enjoys a vast catalog of games with a refresh rate of up to 90 Hz and enjoys being the default VR headset for many people who are on the lookout for lightweight VR headsets should look no further than the HP Reverb G2. The headset remains comfortable for prolonged use, thanks to its 0.55 kg weight. The system comes with a 6 meters cable to connect to the desktop, two motion controllers, a USB-C to A adapter, a display port to the mini number 4. VR Shinikan Gaming Glasses Headset. I love the fact that this headset leaves almost all the good stuff up to the phone. The headset itself is a simple, lightweight shell with lenses in it. That means that you can keep the headset when you upgrade your phone. It also means that we can expect to see a lot of low cost alternatives from third party manufacturers. I also love this headset's controller. It is currently the best mobile VR controller on the market, hands down. It has three buttons, one of which doubles as a trackpad, a volume control and, coolest of all, a built-in motion sensor. That means that when you wave the controller around you can use it as a wand, a sword, or a golf club. Or as a simple pointer. Number 3. Pico Neo Wireless VR Headset. If you put the experience reel down on a table and look at it through the viewer, holographic 3D images will pop up. Or you could just go to the iPhone or Android App Store and download any VR app on there. There's a nice bit button on the headset, so it's a great option for iPhone users. I've had large groups of people try it out, and most of them loved it. It's fun to use and definitely sets off nostalgic vibes for people. However, the lenses are not adjustable, the headset does not fit over glasses, and there are no straps. It's designed for kids and number two dot royal a moon all in one 3d vr headset dot i take mine with me to conferences and other kinds of get togethers and use them to quickly demonstrate what virtual reality is all about the easy access to the screen means that you don't need a button or controller just tap the screen instead you also don't have to take the phone out of the viewer to switch apps or queue up new videos plus you can look over someone's shoulder and see what they're doing, and help them, if they get stuck. It's super lightweight, sturdy, has a reasonable field of view, comes with straps, has adjustable lenses, and is super easy to use. Plus, it comes in cute colors. The downside is that it doesn't come with a button or remote controller. If you use app number one, dot valve index cooling heat for VR headset. I'm not personally a fan of the purple merge VR headset. It never really quite fit right, and the rubbery material made it hard for me to get my phone into it with the phone's protective case still on dot however, many people do find it comfortable, the material is easy to clean, and it has adjustable lenses. Plus, there's a built-in button, so it works well with phones the Hamido mini folds in half, so that the whole thing fits in the palm of your hand. It's smaller than a post-it note. If you put it down on the couch, it will immediately slip between the cushions. If you breathe in suddenly you Thanks can Thanks for watching. It.